Forensic science plays a large role in modern day criminal prosecutions. That is why I thought it would be important to briefly discuss the concept of DNA. Every person has his or her own unique DNA. You get your DNA from your biological mother and your biological father. Your DNA is found within bodily fluids, your blood, your saliva, and for a man, in seminal fluid. Once bodily fluids are collected, DNA can be extracted and from it, a unique DNA profile that relates to a specific person can be developed. This DNA profile is what prosecutors and investigators look to and rely upon in modern day criminal prosecutions. Let me address the concept of touch DNA. When I first described DNA, I indicated that it can be found within bodily fluids. One of the fluids I mentioned was saliva. This is because the skin cells from within our mouths constantly shed and find their way into our saliva. Those skin cells carry with it our individual DNA. With that understanding, let's now talk about touch DNA. As individuals, like snakes, we shed our skin. This means that the items that we touch leave behind shed skin cells on their surfaces. If enough skin cells are left behind and detected by law enforcement, a DNA profile can be determined. It's important for you to know that the presence or absence of DNA is merely a factor to be considered when evaluating the evidence in a criminal case. Just because someone's DNA was left behind on an object doesn't necessarily mean that they possessed that object. Just because someone's DNA was not found on the object doesn't mean they never had the object in his or her possession. Remember, it's merely a factor. It's also important to know when considering touch DNA that DNA can be secondarily transferred. In other words, the skin cells can be transferred from your hand to the object and then from that object to another surface, such as someone else's hand who happens to pick it up next. DNA evidence is very complicated and requires a lawyer with a good deal of litigation experience and technical knowledge. If you've been charged with a crime and you know that DNA evidence is a factor, call me today for a free consultation.